Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for December the 10th. It's entitled, The Faith of David. It's coming from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 31 through 37, verse 45, and verses 48 through 50. Y este diciembre de 2023, la fe de David, 1 Samuel 17, uh, versículos 31 a 37 y versículos 45 y versículos 48 a Okay. 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 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 31 through 37 and when the words were heard which David spoke they rehearsed them before Saul and he sent for him and David said to Saul let no man's heart fail because of him thy servant will go and fight with the Philistines Samuel verse 17 verse 33 and Saul said to David thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him for thou art but a youth and he a man of war with his youth Samuel Verse 34, and David said unto Saul, Thy servant keep his father's sheep. There came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. Amen. 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 And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him, and slew him. Verse 36, Thou servant slew both the lion and the bear, and the uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he had defiled the army of the living God. Samuel 17 37 David said moreover the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine and Saul said unto David go and the Lord be with thee Amen, Amen. I'm from Luke King James Vernon 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 37 Moreover, David said, The Lord, who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he would deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. English Standard Version, 1 Samuel. 17 and 37 and David said the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear would deliver me from the hand of the Philistines and Saul said to David go and the Lord be with you amen okay key verse first Samuel 17 chapter 37 verse from the Amplified Bible yes. David said 
the Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear. He will rescue me from the hands of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, go and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Key verse, 1 Samuel 17, 37. The Lord who saved me from the claws and teeth of the lion and the bear will save me from the Philistine. Saul finally consented. All right, go ahead. He said, and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. 1 Samuel 17, 37, New International Version. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hands of this Philistine. Key verse, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 37, the New Catholic Bible. David continued, the Lord who has delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will deliver me out of the hands of the Philistine. Saul then said to David, go and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the ar armies of Israel, whom the haste defied. Amen. Amen. That's good. I like that. Yeah. to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for December the 10th. It's entitled, The Faith of David. La faith, la faith da David. It's coming from 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 31 through 37. Skipping to 
verse 45, and then skipping down to 48 and through 50. Okay, so without further ado, we'll have our opening prayer, and we'll get this lesson started. Let us pray. Father, we invite you into our midst. Have mercy on us and cleanse our hearts and minds. Let us hear your words and hide them in our hearts, that we sin not against you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Padre Limpia, nuestros corazones y mentes para recibir voluntariamente tu palabras. Entonces esconde tu palabras sabedores en nuestros corazones para que no pequemos contra ti. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén. 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 tayo, Ama, inisin mo ang aming mga puso at isipan upang usang loob tanggapin ang iyong mga salita. Pagkatapos ay itago ang iyong mga salita na nagliligtas sa aming mga puso na hindi kami nagkakasala laban sa iyo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nananalangin. Amen. 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 Okay, we'll get right into our lesson. So 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 31 reads, And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed him before Saul, and he sent for him. Verse 32 says, And David said unto Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. So you know, you guys, this is David and Goliath's story here. So the Philistine is Goliath, and uh, David is talking to, uh, getting word to King Saul so he can go out there and fight him. Okay, continuing on, verse 33 and Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. So from his youth, so that Goliath had been practicing fighting since he was whatever, a toddler. So David, on the other hand, here he is. Yeah, he's a shepherd. So, so the shepherd is like, okay, well, hey, that, that, that's my, my profession as shepherd. His profession is a man of war. So moving on, verse 34 says, And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. So when David here is presenting his resume, well, look, Saul, I can handle this for you. Let me tell you what I, I, I had to do as a shepherd. Even though my main uh, profession is shepherd, look, Look, a lion, a bear, and they, they're trying to get one of my lambs? Hold on, let me tell you what happened here. So, uh, verse 35 says, And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. So in other words, I took care of that. So, uh, verse 36 says, the, the, Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Uh, nobody defied the armies of the living God because, hey, anybody on the Lord's side, uh, he won't stand against because God is too powerful, too awesome. The key verse of this lesson is verse 37. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the, the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. So that's the, the A section here. And Saul said unto David, go, and the Lord be with thee. So David presented his case, presented his resume verbally. Hey, I've defeated a lion and a bear. And I'm not going to brag on self, but the Lord delivered me out of that. So, hey, if he can deliver me out of this, he can deliver me out of that too. So Saul, it's like, hey, Whatever you give a word of the Lord, can, can we go against it? No. Well, okay, well, if the Lord delivered you and you believe he could deliver you out of this situation, well, the Lord be with thee and let's see what we can do here. So verse uh, 45, when then David said unto the Philistine, thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come unto thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, who thou hast defied. So y'all know we had the two hills in, in, in this part of Israel and the Philistines came up to camp against the Israelites and Israel, they were they, they had on the other hill to uh, defend the city. But then there's a valley in between them. And uh, in that valley, 
is Goliath talking that trash. Yeah, yeah, y'all send a man down here. I tear him up. But look, if, if I beat him, then y'all be our servants. But if he beat me, then we'll be y'all servants. So that, and, and he was saying, come on, come on, because I'm a, I'm a uh, and he was glorifying his little G-O-D, who really, I guess, is a made-up God, because if it's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that, that's, that's not a, a, a real God anyway. So David knew he was on the winning side, and this is the confidence that we have, the hope that we have. So moving on to the last two verses, uh, verses uh, 48 through 50, uh, I'm also uh, include 46 and 47, which is not expressed part of the lesson, but it's part of the background. 46 says, this day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. So now David talking trash back to Goliath because Goliath's starting off with the trash. I know how it is on them football games. Oh, my team going to beat your team way out. You know, send you home crying to your mama. You know, we, uh, men tend to talk trash to each other. So David said, oh, no, I'm going to brag on God. This day will the Lord Deliver me, hallelujah, deliver you into my hand. And moving on, I will smite thee and take thine hand from, that hand from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and unto the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, because he is a real God. 47 says, and all this assembly shall know that the Lord save it not with the sword, and spear, for the battle is the Lord's. Hallelujah. And he will give you into our hands. So once again, Dave, David make his boast in the Lord. So that's where our boasts need to be. Because we as men tend to say, oh yeah, well I did this and I did that. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it. The Lord did it the whole time. He gave us the energy and the knowledge and the, the, the gifts that we need to handle situations. And that's why he bless us. It's like, well, hey. I know the fragile old lady can't change her car tire, but hey, look at this big muscle man here. He can change it. He almost don't even need a jack to do it. <laughs> so the Lord bless us in different ways so we can help each other out. All right, moving on to the last two, two uh, verses of the lesson is 48 through 50. 48 says, And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hastened and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. So I guess the Philistine saying, Well, hold on. That little little short guy over there, he is talking trash. Hold on, I'm going to get him. And David said, oh yeah, I'm going to get you though. <laughs> so verse 49, and David got out. David put his hand on his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So the last verse is 50. So David prevailed over the Philistine with the sling of a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. So <laughs> uh, King Saul initially felt sorry for David. It's like, well, David, look, you are but a youth, but he is a, he studied war from his youth. And he is a huge monster. This man is cubits, cubits high, nine cubits. So, I mean, that I don't know if that's 10, 15 feet or something, something outrageous, but he is a giant. So look, he, his, his, his armor and his helmet, it weighs a whole lot. It's bronze and iron. Here, you take mine. This is for the, from the king to you. David said, man, this stuff is heavy. Uh, and, and that's just his. That ain't Goliath's. So he said, no, I, 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 I don't deserve this. I didn't prove this. This is what I know of him. You got, and that's what that's what the Lord bless us with, with stuff that we know. So David knew that slingshot and those smooth stones, and he picked, carefully picked those stones out because he picked up five. Why? Because what Goliath had uh, uh, four brothers with him. So of course they was in the little crowd somewhere, but he was the biggest one. So he was the one talking all of the little trash out there in the valley. So bottom line is he was ready for him. And but what the battle is not ours; it's the Lord's. And just remember that as we go through life, the battle is not ours, it's the Lord. So you can get some rest because the Lord is taking care of us. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord, to trust in you. In Jesus' name, uh, review something very quickly uh, with Psalm 27 because that happened to be the devotional reading. The Psalm 27, the first verse of that says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
skipping down to verse 8, so confidence in the Lord. Verse 8 says, when thou sayest, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Obedience right there. When thou say it, I'm going to do it. That's obedience. Going on to the last few verses of that. <clears throat> Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. So when the Lord directs your steps, are oh, you going in the right direction? Uh, verse 12 says, Deliver me not unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Verse 13 says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And here go the key verse for the devotional. <clears throat> verse 14 says, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So some, some of us, we, especially as men, we, we get in a hurry and we want to do it, we want to accomplish it. Sometimes wait on the Lord because, hey, we can't just fix everything like a machine. So machine, okay, hey, a, a, a nut missing, a little screw not in the right place, or the, the fan belt the wool out or something. Or the other but, but when it comes to humans, oh, now wait. We can't just fix that like that. So, hey, wait on the Lord, but you got to pray. Hallelujah. Pray. Lord, fix this situation. Fix me, Lord. Maybe I'm the problem. Fix me. So, remember, always look at ourselves. So, uh, Matthew 11, <clears throat> verses 11 and 30 says, The Lord said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So, just remember, you guys, come to Christ. He's waiting on us. And he, what? Remember the footprints in the sand. He carried us through these situations that, that we definitely are not able to carry. Nothing through that. And I'm going to tell you all now. You know, we had that 50-pound limit. We'll have somebody help you out at 50 pounds. <laughs> but I'm just saying with, with Christ, uh, he, can, he can handle it all. The earth is the laws and the fullness thereof of the world and all that the world they're in. Remember Psalm 24. But, hey, he controls everything. So, hey, now if Christ can't do it, it can't be done. You know, because he is the miracle worker. He created us well, in his image, hallelujah, the way he wanted us to be. And we are, uh, Psalm 139, say what? Uh, we, we, we made, wonderfully made, wonderfully made. So, But we, we have a purpose. So make sure we're fulfilling that purpose. Lord, lead me. I don't know what that purpose is, but lead me, Lord. When, when the Lord leads you from the purpose, for, for his purpose, uh, you'll be well led to what he needs you to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we'll have our final prayer. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord, may we grow in courage and our faith. May people see the Lord God Jesus as He guides our steps in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Señor, que buscamos el valor de nuestra fe, que la gente vea el amor de Jesús mientras el guía nuestros pasos a través de Espíritu Santo en el nombre de Dios. Amen. Amen. I'm prayer for December the 10th. Okay. Hãy cùng cầu nguyện lạy Chúa, xin cho chúng con ngày càng can đảm trong đức tin. Cầu mong mọi người nhìn thấy tình yêu của Chúa Giêsu khi Ngài hướng dẫn các bước đi của chúng ta thông qua Thánh Thần. Nhân danh Chúa Giêsu, chúng con cầu nguyện. Amen. 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 Amen kung ako nawala kami sa aming panapalataya na huwag makita ng mga taong pag-ibig ni Jesus habang ginabayan niya ang ating mga hakbang na pamagitan ng Espiritu Santo sa pangalan ni Jesus kami ay nalalaman Amen! 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 Thank you for our prayers. Thank you for everyone who participated in this lesson. It's always a joy to serve the Lord. Uh, we thank you for the for not only reading the scripture, we, we, we thank you for sending in the, the pictures that you guys sent in. We thank you for the translations. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for uh, the prayers, of course. So uh, we're going to keep praying one for another. The words say, well, pray continually one for another because there's always something going on. What happened now? So-and-so is sick. Oh, his mother needs some help. Oh, look, the financial struggles. Oh, look, this is that, the hurricane devastation we need restoration you know there's always something to pray for so let's pray continually for for our, our brothers and and, and and look out for them because we got talents hallelujah to help each other and we need to use those talents for the glory of god we thank you lord for blessing us despite of 
Hallelujah. We just pray for continual blessings of the Lord. We pray for the safety of all you guys out there that's offshore, the safety of all our loved ones at home, and we thank everyone for joining this lesson. Don't forget the guys who, who have the cell phones. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the lesson. That way you guarantee to catch that lesson every, every time a new lesson is put out. Uh, just in case I overlook something, I, you know, I don't want to overlook the word of the Lord coming into your heart because, hey, Lord, hide your word in our hearts that what? We sit not against you in Jesus' name.